Hello, everybody. This is a review on this uh, Willy Wonka costume that I have, and uh, it's really grey. And yeah, let's just get straight into it. So yeah, uh, first of all, I'm going to start with the hat. Yeah, the hat is pretty good. It's a cheap knockoff hat I got in a party shop. And uh, so basically what I did, it didn't come with this like circus kind of hat shape. I uh, put uh, a circle of cardboard on the top, but then I got old and then I got leggings and I stretched it down, tied it. And yeah, it gives it like the nice shape. Yeah, this part here is uh, some ribbon and all of that just to give that weird hat decoration that he has on his hat. Uh, not perfect, but uh, like uh, it represents it well enough. This wig, however, yeah, this wig that, uh, it's not the right colour. His is, uh, it's called, uh, the colour of his hair, the actual name, it's called Burnt Umber Brown. Yeah, but, uh, this is black, and, uh, yeah, it should be brown. And his haircut, I tried to style it the best I could. His haircut, it's called a bob. I know, it's very, uh, it's very, it's like a very, uh, woman's haircut, but, uh, he has it, so, yeah, whatever. So here is this, so next is this Paisley dress shirt with the Wonka brooch. I hope someday to, to, a, uh, to replace it with a new, better, like more screen accurate Wonka brooch. And yeah, just a Paisley uh, shirt. I felt the collar was down like normal, but I folded it up, done some tailoring to make it into like round. So this type of collar is called a grandfather collar. And yeah, it works. And uh, I like the way the, uh, the paisley poke, like, just shyly pokes out under the coat sleeve. And yeah, so uh, next of all is this uh, vest. So this vest I completely made, and because uh, I couldn't find any good uh, Wonka vests for cheap. I seen one, but it was uh, it was decent, but it was just like the wrong colour and all, didn't come with any, nothing was right, and so I said I can make my own. And yeah, these buttons are uh, plastic. Yeah, they're just uh, black uh, coat buttons. Here uh, he has this little chain that uh, hangs down with this, uh, just with this ball with uh, diamonds on it. Yeah, it's like, I like it, like it kind of swings around when you walk. And yeah, it has uh, two rows of buttons. It's called a double-breasted vest. Basically, that just means it has two sets of uh, buttons. But yeah, you can only really see uh, one, like in the movie when he wears it. Second of all, right, so, uh, well, third of all, technically, I'm just going to move on now. This coat, this coat is very, it's uh, pretty screen accurate, if you ask me. It was very expensive, but it was worth every penny. It's uh, exactly, basically, how accurate it is, like, if it's on this coat, it's on the one in the movie. It looks very bright red on camera, but in, uh, in person, it's very dark red. It's probably just the line, but yeah, like, it's very, like, a maroon, like, kind of like a blood red on, uh, like, in person. It looks brilliant. It has the two collars. It has the grandfather collar and the actual uh, co collar. It has uh, yeah, the buttons. You can actually button it closed if you wanted to use it as a real coat, but uh, he never closes it. So, yeah, so like, uh, yeah, yeah, he never closes it. It has uh, pockets. These are real pockets. And the uh, cufflinks, like the buttons on uh, the side, looks uh, pretty good. And yeah, it's basically just a big red pinstriped uh, trench coat. Yeah, so, la so lastly, just for now, is uh, the trousers. Uh, he has no specific trousers. These are just, uh, and by the way, yeah, it even has the accurate um, the accurate lining on the inside. It has the inside pocket too, which is good. Yeah, and uh, so the trousers he wears, he wears no specific trousers. These are just uh, black dress pants, or like, just like yeah, dress trousers that I had lying around. I said, yeah, I use them for this costume. I don't have everything yet. Like, uh, these goggles, like, uh, his glasses, I don't have the lenses, like, I have them, like, like they're still drying outside, I painted them with, a uh, red glass paint, and, uh, yeah, these are just his, uh, yeah, these look really cool, I'll add them to it, like, uh, these kind of represent, these really, uh, represent Willy Wonka as well, the big, uh, glasses, and also, yeah, the gloves, I have the gloves coming in the, uh, post, or as you, uh, Americans call it, the mail, and yeah, uh, it's their purple uh, PVC latex gloves. And uh, yeah, his shoes, he wears a pair of uh, woman's uh, heeled boots. I know that's a, uh, I don't know, like it's it's Tim Burton. Like, you know, he has a very weird style and it's very good as well. His boots, they have the Wonka logo on them. They have a big uh, Wonka W on the front of the boot. 
I'll do that. And last, then lastly, I just need the cane. I already have a cane, but I'm probably going to remake the cane because, like, mine's just not really that good. And then, yeah, I have a completed Willy Wonka. And yeah, that's my Willy Wonka costume. Honestly, I'm I've like I feel a bit bold making this claim. Well, like just like I'm not trying to brag, but honestly, I feel like mine is one of the better Willy Wonka costumes or cosplays out there. And like yeah, I just kind of feel that because like nobody really kind of gets the vest right, or like nobody uh, really kind of gets the paisley shirt right. I actually I've actually never seen anybody that's gotten the shoes uh, right yet, so I can't wait to do that. And yeah, I just kind of, I'm just trying to like get it as accurate as I can. And that's pretty much it, my Willy Wonka costume. I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye.